Good evening. Greetings from uh, St. John the Baptist in Brantford. Uh, we should have a Mass in about eight minutes. Uh, trying a new location here with some new technology. So maybe uh, if you could put a comment in the comment bar there, I'll know you're with me. I'm going to get a few things set up here. This lighting might be a little tricky here. Nice sun, but... Okay, good. We got some uh, people chiming in here. Let's see what our view is here.
entrance antiphon. Do not leave me to the will of my foes, O Lord, for false witnesses rise up against me, and they breathe out violence. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins so to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and the saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands, listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth, from my mother's womb, he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow, in his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing uselessly spent my strength, yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant, to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the saviors of it, the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations, that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. I will sing of your salvation. I will sing of your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing of your salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock, my fortress. O oh God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. 
I will sing of your salvation. For you are my hope, O Lord, my trust, O God, from my youth. On you I depend from my birth. From my mother's womb, you are my strength. I will sing of your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice, day by day your salvation. O God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will sing of your salvation. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another at a loss as to whom he meant. One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to my hand the morsel, after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it, and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the mortal mor morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What are you going to what you are going to do? Do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say to you, Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered him, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In our Gospel here, we see Judas, um, the great betrayer of Jesus, and we should be rightfully outraged um, Judas turning on Jesus behind his back. Uh, meanwhile, part of the mystery is Jesus knew this would happen. Um, this was part of the story that had to take place. Meanwhile, as outraged as we are at the betrayal of Judas, um, I think we also need to be a little bit outraged by our own sins, the sins of our own modern day, and again, our personal sins some sense of proper sense of disappointment um, and proper sense of humiliation to the times we've promised and tried to be a great follower of Jesus and by our human weaknesses and our sins, we've not been able to live up to that. And so we ask the Lord to forgive us. We may not be notoriously betraying Jesus, but we could say even in our little sins, we need to repent and follow the Lord more closely. And then Peter, 
telling Jesus he wants to die for him, he wants to follow him. And Jesus says, it's a great idea, but I know you're going to deny knowing me. Similarly, our disappointment in Peter, um, let us pray we have the strength and courage to be a friend of Jesus always. Um, sometimes it's easy to be a friend of Jesus when we're at church or among fellow Christians, but when we're alone and we're questioned, pray that we'll have the courage to acknowledge our friendship with Jesus. Invite you at this time, if you'd like to put uh, any of your petitions in the comment bar there. Um, we pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Bishop Daniel Jinky. We pray for our president and all politicians, local and all those around the world, um, especially during this time of the coronavirus. We pray for all doctors and nurses, all those working in hospitals and nursing homes, caring for the sick. Um, we also pray for those who are sick, for the dying, and for all the dead. May they rest in peace. Um, and again, feel free to list any of your personal intentions or requests for prayers in the, the comment bar there. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for with your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for with your goodness we have received wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look favorably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion, the glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one course of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. On you stay, we totally speak on Tamudi. Misery reign of me. On you stay, 
Sweet holy peccata mundi, misere reino vis. Agnus Dei, sweet holy peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon. God did not spare his own son, but handed him over for us all. And the prayer for the active spiritual communion. I'll read for you. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you were already there. I embrace you and unite myself wholly to you. Permit not that I should ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of life eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seclusion of former ways from all seduction of former ways, and make them capable of new holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And thou, Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the divine power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who roam throughout the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. So thank you for joining me here for Mass. Um, have a new location you may have noticed we're in Bradford this time we figured out or I figured out got 150 feet of uh, Ethernet cable to get over here to the church from the rectory um, so I think it's working out okay um, and I'll say a few hellos here 
to Mariana, Deborah, Katie, David, Michael, Thomas, Martha, Deborah, Dixie, um, Mary. Got a few people making multiple comments, which is fine. By the way, I can't always see all the comments. Some end up getting filtered out. Special hello to my parents, too. Um, let's see here. Paula, Denise, Carol, Michael, Kathleen, Pamela, Mary Lou, Matthew, Margaret, Renee, Sharon and Dave, thanks for tuning in, Pat, and Renee and Gwen. I think that's all the names I can see at this point from my, on my end. So again, thanks. We'll plan to do Mass here again tomorrow at 5. Um, and uh, probably do Holy Hour here as well tomorrow from 10 to 11. That's Central Time. So God bless. Try to get your fruits and vegetables and get your sleep at night. Take care.